So the team over at RIP uh, invited us over to the office. Uh, they're looking for a desk. These guys do defense contracting. They do civilian training, all kinds of some really sick stuff. And they just remodeled. So we're here to check it out. So I wanted to bro it out, but because of COVID, we're gonna have to keep it a little bit distant. But the founder, Dustin, has got a pretty banging office, but the dude's living on a plastic table right now. So we're in Dustin's office, and as you guys see, plastic table, not cutting it, but a thing's like, a thing's like eight feet. So we're definitely looking for something big here. Uh, a former army sniper, as you can tell by the scope and the piece uh, behind him. So uh, I've sent over a few things. Most importantly, favorite color is OD green. Yeah, man, all the all the all the all the drabs, all the the subdued colors, man. They're just the way to go. They look the best. So I've sent over a few sketches, and my thoughts are like, we definitely need to do something that looks like it's either like a Humvee or a military vehicle in my eyes, because because we can. And so, uh, and then in one of those like kind of colors, like make it like super unique to you. Yeah. Uh, and I, and then, and going back and forth on it, like I think you dig it, right? Like. <laughs> Absolutely, man. That's that, that sounds amazing, dude. Yeah, we, you know, this is actually kind of a gift from from the team. You know, this wasn't even my idea. Yeah, the team, it was a surprise. Yeah, the team the team sought you out, man. They said <laughs> this guy's amazing. He builds great things. You know, I got my family and friends. They have a following. They know who you are. They're like, oh my god, this is what he's done. This is his background. He's a really amazing person. Yeah. You should see some of the things he built. So. I got to go in and look and eventually, you know, talking with the team that decided to do something kind for me, I said, hey, man, show me what he's working on. You know, you don't want to you don't want to engage in this type of, a, uh, you know, personal situation for me to work at every day and not see it. Yeah, and not sure. know what it's about. So they brought me into the equation. And, and now here you are, man. It's amazing to meet you. And thank you for being here. Yeah, I, I wish we could bromance a little more. But, but <laughs> yeah, COVID-19, you can't times, kiss. Dire times, you can't even like chest bump. <laughs> yeah. Sucks, but now my, my buddy uh, Brandon Rombaugh, if you guys remember, we did a story with Lincoln Electric a few years ago. I taught him to weld, uh, amazing dude, introduced us, so I'm super fortunate for that. Absolutely. Um, and so we're definitely gonna do some metal, a little bit of wood, I think I'm gonna light some shit on fire, um, and then do a couple few hidden features for some stuff that might hide some stuff that should be hidden. And this should be a pretty bad project. So now that I've got an idea of what Dustin's looking for and what their building looks like, so I think the English, I think I came up with a pretty killer idea for a metal desk that's gonna look like, what's that called, an MRAP? MRAP. An MRAP. If this thing's gonna be sick. So first thing we need to do is weld up a metal frame. Before we get into this next segment, I want to send a huge thank you out to Lincoln Electric. As you guys know, Lincoln's been a huge supporter of the channel for years now, and they're my go-to for everything welding. Uh, from big machines like this guy to just a regular all-purpose MIG, TIG, and stick welder like this one, they've got it all. And if you're interested in getting into welding and want to up the value and your own skill sets with adding a little bit of metal to your projects, I've got everything you need to get started. Link down below. Check it out. Check out Lincoln. I love them. They're the best. I love working with them and I'm super appreciative of them sponsoring this build. Now, let's get back to some chaos. So now that we got all of our parts cut, the first thing I'm gonna do is tack up what's gonna be the front panel on this thing. And then uh, we'll get to all the panels built. And then from there, we'll put it all together. Okay, kiddos, so I'm pretty much making this up as I go. The one thing a little different, and I always say this about wood and metal, is that metal is an additive process, and then because of that, you don't have to be as tight on your tolerances. So, this panel <coughs> weighs 50 pounds. How's your shoulder? It's gotta go in here. And in order to do so, at the tolerance I have, I've got to relieve it on both sides. So what I'm doing is just drawing a line and then I'll take that interior angle there and um, trace it onto the top of this and the bottom and then cut it out.
Okay, so the next step now that John went ahead and stuck all these rectangles together is we gotta put the armor plating onto the desk because we're going for that MRAP look, so it's gotta look tactical and awesome. So you can't have that without armor. So what I'm gonna do is Jordan and I are gonna go ahead and figure out how to get these things all centered, and then we're gonna go ahead and tap a bunch of holes and apply a bunch of molds. So the boys did a phenomenal job of drilling and tapping all of them holes. <laughs> tap, tap, tap -a Next thing we need to do is get the interior frame assembly. We're keeping this thing pretty lean and a lot of you are gonna get pissed off in how we're gonna go about this um, because it seems like it will not structurally work, but we think it will and we're gonna go with it. Dustin wants this thing to be um, pretty clean on the inside, no drawers, no storage. He doesn't like to have uh, places to put things because they get filled up and get cluttery for him. So to keep this thing smooth and efficient, we're just gonna build a frame to hold the top, build that in place, and then we'll start with that flat reference surface and start working our way out to the exterior skeleton. And hopefully by the end of the day, we have a mocked up desk frame. And then we'll test how bouncy and not sturdy it is and see if we gotta add anything to make it stronger. So back to cut. Why is it that everyone's always busy as soon as the giant heavy steel thing needs flipped? I mean like, what do you guys actually have phone calls and other projects you're working on? But I think we're getting to a really good spot with it. Uh, there's a couple of spots I'm gonna hit with Bondo to kind of smooth out those corners because we want those to look really crispy and nice. All in all, this thing is very awesome. A little Bondo, a lot of paint, a lot of sanding, but it feels like a tank, and it's gonna look like a tank, and I think that's what we're going for. So now that we have a Skeletor, or skeleton, we're gonna have to start working on the top. We're gonna go with a Shwishwigi Bond maple top that I'm gonna need to glue up after I order more materials because I'm an idiot and can't math. Uh, but we're gonna start out by just doing some rips and some glues and then we'll cut our <laughs> parts and it should be fun. Let's go. The frame is complete, assembled, and Sam just cleaned her up, which means it is time to spray. I'm going with a little Montana gold here because I want a flat matte black and I don't know how to do anything else except be a uh, spray can aficionado. Let us spray! Next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to make the logos, or the logo, uh, removable. That means we're going to have to lay it out, punch holes through here, create mounts, weld a couple bolts, run bolts through the back, um, and then we can paint everything because they're all there's three different colors on just the logo. It'll make that a little bit easier. So I'm just doing some layout. I'm tracing the logo where I want it onto our sheet here, and then from there we're going to cut a couple holes and then from those holes, put our pieces back on and transfer the marks so we know where to weld 
nuts to the back of these pieces so we can th screw a bolt with a spacer through the back. Sounds complicated, but you'll see what it looks like here in a sec. I forgot we're naming this segment, Sam. Just the tip with John and Sam. All right, so to transfer our marks, what I did is I set the item or piece or whatever the hell you want to call it on top of our part here where we trace it. And then I just go to the bottom with some spray paint. Hit the hole. And then it comes through here and we know where it's going to land. Instead of me trying to jam it, if I poke it with a pen, it's going to move on the top. Tip! I got a surprise for these panels on the, uh, the corner clips here on this thing. And uh, in order to make this surprise work, I have to stand them off a bit. So we're going to build these tiny little frames and then drop our uh, the open boxes onto them. You'll just bear with me and follow along. Oh, and while you're at it, why the hell aren't you subscribed? I've been meaning to ask you guys. Tons of you watch this stuff and I love you for it. But why don't you subscribe? <laughs> just, just subscribe. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the wood shop. Today we're gonna make things from wood. And they're gonna be awesome! We need to move on to the countertop for this now. Cut a miter here, flip this over, get it glued back up, and then we've got the last part over there. So just a little track sodge and some, uh, and this, this, should, this should be awesome when it's done. Then we're gonna light it on fire. Yes, fire, fire. Oh, new hoodies, go buy one, because they rule and it's getting cold out. You don't want your nibblies to get cold. Then they stick out. Nobody likes that. Let's go. The top has had ample time to dry. Uh, so now we're going to cut this thing down to size and then light it on fire. Let's go. So we're on site and the desk is done, but it's not quite finished. Dustin has a killer idea to make this thing look insane. I think you guys are gonna like this. So this is the first thing I've ever built and then fired anything into. I, I, I know that's hard for you guys to believe, but I think we missed all of the mounting holes. He did great. I actually think he hit one dead on. <laughs> what do you think, dude? Perfect. Perfect. It looks, Perfect. Like, shit, looks, it? It looks, looks like yours now. <laughs> it looks like yours. Yeah. Wait man. till we get the top and the, and the logo on. It's going to be, it'll be. All right, you ready? Yeah, man. How ready? Did you, did you do any push-ups? Super stoked. You want me to do some now? <laughs> no, come check it out. All right, dude. Let's see what you got going on. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Dude, that is radical, man. Dude, I'm not going to lie. I was shitting myself a little bit when we were shooting it. <laughs> but it looks, kill it looks killer. Wow, man. I don't, I don't think it... 
I don't think it missed on anything we talked about. No, man, you did a great job. And I don't know if you saw the side. Yeah, man, look at this. Holy moly, man, yeah. This is amazing, man. It's amazing, first and foremost, because you did a great job on building this, man. But <laughs> secondly, everybody that comes in here and has a meeting with me, they'll get to see the carnage with firearms and, you know, what these soldiers go through and what it looks like to be engaged with small arms, man. It's, uh, it reminds people of what RIP is about, man. I mean, look, <laughs> it's, re it's rest in peace. It's a living memorial. Man. Yeah, I think it's, I mean, it really embodies what you guys are about. Um, as well as just brings, I think it's a really cool visual um, one and two. Yeah, I think it's going to a great place. I mean, what you guys stand for and what you're doing is awesome. Uh, it's been a pleasure bringing this to life for you, and I'm really looking forward to hearing about how many people can't stop staring at it in yeah, the future for amazing. you. It's amazing. Thank you so much. Sweet. Yeah, dude. It's no so problem. Painful. No problem. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Crowner. Get in there, brother. Crowner. Does he look proper? Yeah. yeah. Gotta get him a black chair, yeah. Yeah, this is, uh, this is super legit. Does it look nice? The dude. <laughs> we, we stopped and we're like, this is, yeah. this is probably the best thing we've ever done. We, ch we talked briefly over a concept. I sent it over and then when we came together, like I think, the, I think the crowning achievement of it is that bulletproof glass. And that wouldn't have happened if we weren't able to like, you know, get together, vibe over the project, get to know one another a little bit, and then kind of bring something that has that just extra little punch to life. Yeah. So I'm super stoked, man. You and your team, you did great. It's an amazing build. I'm proud to have it in this day in our headquarters. And I gotta say, I don't think I've ever had more fun delivering something in my <laughs> life. Which <laughs> is awesome. So you too, glad you like it, dude. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. And that's going to be a wrap on this one. I want to thank Dustin and his whole team here at RIP for letting us bring this thing to life. Sam and I have talked about it and we think this is our best project to date. I want to know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. And lastly, if you want to see a little bit more Pew Pew projects, I've got a whole playlist queued up for you right here.